let's do some more uh, journal entries today I've taken up some uh, journal entries in my previous sessions now I'll uh, take up some transactions here let's see let's say bought office furniture from gold age and company for rupees eighty thousand so now here you see the accounts that are involved are office furniture account and we are buying it from gold age and company this is not a cash purchase this is a credit purchase so the other party which is involved in uh, this transaction is gold age and company now in this <coughs> again office furniture is coming in right that is a real account right so it will be debited debit what comes in right and this gold age and company this is a personal account this is a personal account and he is the giver right so basically credit the giver for them and this is credit right so here the journal entry for this will be office furniture account debit to gold age and company account right the amount is eighty thousand this is again in the format of a journal only we have to do all these things right so this is the particulars here you will have the ledger folio and debit amount and credit amount the date column is here right so here here debit side you will have eighty thousand and credit side again you will have eighty thousand and the narration for that comes here being office furniture bought from gold age and company right now the next transaction let's see goods sold to hira lal for rupees let's say 50000 now this is a sales this is the credit sales because there's no mention of a cash here so basically goods are sold sales account and it is sold to hira lal right account these are the two accounts sales account as you know is a nominal account right and this is an income sales account when we do something when we sell something it's basically an income for us so sales account will be credited right credit all incomes and gains Hiralal account is a personal account when we are uh, selling the goods to Hiralal he is receiving the goods right he is receiving the goods so he is the receiver so this is debit the receiver right debit the receiver so this entry will be Hiralal account debit to sales account right the amount in the credit column 50000 amount in the debit column again 50000 right so here you will write being goods sold sold to hira lal right okay after this let's uh, look at this one bought building for cash rupees One lakh, right? So this is building account, which is a real account, right? 
cash account again a real account right so building account here we are buying the building so building is coming in this is coming in right and for buying the building you are paying the cash so cash is going out right both are real accounts so the rule for real account applies debit what comes in building is coming in so building account debit and what is going out cash so cash is going out debit credit what goes out to cash account fine so this is 1 lakh here and this is 1 lakh right so the narration being building bought for cash right okay now paid rupees 10000 for goods received from arun udyog now here you see you are paying rupees 10,000 means this is uh, basically cash right this is uh, actually put in a different way paid rupees 10,000 for goods received from Arun Udyog means it is you are purchasing goods from Arun Udyog right and you are paying 10,000 for that goods received from Arun Udyog whenever whenever the term goods come goods is basically either a purchase or a sales right so here when I say goods received from Arun Udyog it is basically a purchases and we are paying for that purchases so that is a cash right so this is basically a cash purchase right so here purchases account will always be debited right because it is an expense and debit all expenses and losses for the nominal account and cash account is a real account we are paying the cash so cash is going out right cash is going out right so uh, purchases account will be debited and cash account will be credited uh, purchases account will always have a debit balance so wherever you have this purchase wherever you are purchasing something purchase is always going to be debited and sales will always be credited remember that right purchases account 10,000 to cash account 10,000 right this and here this is a narration being goods purchased you can write it like this goods purchased from Arun Udyog for cash right So, we have seen some uh, 5, 6 journal entries in this. The first one here bought office furniture we saw goods sold to Hiralal this is the credit sales then this is again uh, a cash purchase for an asset right this one and now uh, let us take up um, one more. Let us take this paid salary to Mr. Balram, the manager, rupees 25,000. Right now, salary is an expense, salary is a nominal account, it is an expense. So, debit all expenses and losses, salary account will be debited and to cash account here though the name of the manager is given you are not concerned about the name of the manager it is uh, nothing is to be done with the personal account of Mr. Balram right. So, salary account is a nominal account so debit all expenses and losses this is the expense for the company and for paying the salary for giving the salary they have to pay cash so that is cash is going out. So, salary account to cash account this will be the entry whether it is rent wages uh, interest is paid commission paid all these things will be a nominal account only and the entries will be like this if you are paying rent it is rent to cash if you are paying wages it is wages to cash right so being salary paid that is it right 
So, with that I will come to the end of this session. In our next session, we will look at some uh, more journal entries, some compound journal entries we will learn, right. So, with that I will end this session. Bye.